Good afternoon everyone. I'm Sandy with Urban Rebel Designs. Thanks for joining me. I'm gonna try to not keep you on here all afternoon, but this is part three of our Hollywood Regency French Provincial Dresser. I started it on the Dixie Belle paint page on Friday. Um, I poured the top of it yesterday on the Chalk Paint 101 page. You can go back and find all the videos on our page, Urban Rebel Designs. But today we're working on the drawers. We're gonna get them finished up. We're also gonna work on the hardware and we're gonna work on some would you bend. We're gonna be using two pieces of would you bend on each side and we will mount them upside down, sort of like this to create our own unique medallion. So we have to take care of these. But I wanted to show you something really cool about would you bend. When it's cold, it's, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, rigid. When, I'm, when it's cold, it's rigid. And when you heat it up, then it makes it real pliable and bendable. But this piece had a boo-boo. Uh, it got dropped and this little wing over here broke off. And my sweet, sweet husband yesterday found it and put it back together. And it is so simple. You can see a little bit, I'm gonna hold it up here close. You can see a little bit where it cracked. You can see a little bit on the back, right there. But all he did was put it on a griddle, heated it up, put a little bit of wood glue, just a little bit, and pushed it back together and it's good as new. When we get this painted, you will never ever see that crack. So that's just a little tidbit about the would you bend. Um, I'm gonna start, this is what our finished drawer will look like. And what we're gonna work on today is this recessed part in caviar. I base coated the entire piece, and you can see this drawer down here, in sawmill gravy. And we're gonna be doing this part in caviar and then the outside molding we're doing a coat of silver bullet over the top i've got a bad glare so it's hard to see and that makes it instead of being so um, brilliant and shiny this makes it look a little more like pewter or a polished silver rather than a sterling silver and then the hardware all I'm doing, this is, sorry about that, I just knocked my water bottle off. This is what the hardware looked like originally. Here, I have painted it with the golf, and we will go over it with a little bit of the silver gilding wax, just to bring out some of the detail. And the reason I picked the particular pieces of wood you bend that I chose was because it mimics the shape of the hardware. So we're going to get started. I'm going to set this off. Oh, I wanted to point out this piece of wood in the back of the drawer. Complete surprise when we took the drawers out. And this is the only one that has this kind of wood in it. That is gorgeous. I'm such a wood nerd. Um, I did treat the inside of the drawer and the sides with Big Mama's Butter in Orange Grove. And you can see it better there. Um, you should smell it in here. It smells like an orange grove. It's amazing. So I'm gonna set this drawer off to the side. Actually, I'm gonna hand it off. And I'm gonna grab this one and put it up here. And I'm gonna show you how I do the inside without taping it off. It would honestly be such a pain to try to take this off perfectly so I'm gonna freehand it, so to speak, and just show you my process. Now, somebody out there may have a better process, and if you do, please hit me up and let me know. But this is just how I do it. And that's the great thing about painting, is do it how you are most comfortable. If you think you have to do everything the same way somebody else does, chances are you're not going to enjoy it and you're not going to do it. So I'm going to use an artist brush and you'll notice that it's really thin. 
See how thin that is? But the top of it is also curved just a little bit. And this helps me just get in as close as I can without going over too much. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have to go back and do some touch-up. Nobody's perfect. But this is how I do it. Normally I would start by painting the top, this top edge, but since I want to show you how to do this so we can move on to the hardware and the would you bend, I'm just going to do this really quick and forgive the back of my head. I like to get my lines established first thing. And you'll notice I'm losing paint here, but I'm going to go all the way across, turn my brush, and pull back. And up here in this corner, I stop just short of the corner so I can flip my brush and go back again. And I will keep doing these long strokes until I get this whole area filled in. And that's what gives you that really sleek, smooth finish. So now we're going to go to the top of this piece because I want to establish my lines. And oops, I messed up there. There's a place I'll have to go clean up. Sometimes it's easier to start out here where you can see it. And all I'm doing is laying paint on this top edge because I want that to blend in. And it's a little nerve-wracking doing this on camera, so if I boo-boo, don't worry, I'll go back and clean it back up. And I will just, I dropped my water bottle, but I have another one over here. I will just keep doing this until I have that area filled in and I have my outline down here on the curves and then I will switch probably to the new Dixie Belle French round to get this finished up. Have you seen it yet? Let me show it to you. It's amazing. So I've always loved my paint pixie French round and Dixie Belle came out with their own. It's a little bit bigger. You can see it's just a tiny bit bigger than the paint pixie. I love them both. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to use whatever works for me. So I'm going to get this curve right down here. I try to offload some of my brush before I get close to the detail work. And I'm resting my elbow on my hip here to keep me steady. just that easily we are going to get all of the detail on our drawer fronts done. So you see how I do that? I will go back after the video. I've got four more besides this drawers to get done before I get back to the shop on Tuesday. So I will get these finished and we will have them ready on Tuesday, but I wanted to show you the hardware. Can I hand this off to you? Thank you, sir. I wanted to show you how we're gonna do the hardware and the would you bend. If I didn't tell you before, the black that I'm using is Dixie Bell's Caviar and the silver that I use around the frame to give it that aged silver look is the Moonshine Metallic Silver Bullet, and you can see I use mine. So for the hardware and for our Would You Bend medallions, we are using the Golf, which is probably my favorite color ever invented. And I'm gonna use this pointy artist brush because it's a little bit thicker and 
I want to set back up and say that my paint has thickened up because it's well used. And when you're painting hardware, that's perfect. That's exactly what you want because it's going to be one coat. And it is seriously this easy to change up your hardware. We'll let this dry completely and then I will take that other one off, add some of the silver gilding wax to it to bring out some of the detail. And we have completely updated our hardware. And I would say it's cost us pennies but really, as far as this paint goes, it's probably less than pennies. We're staying true to the piece, to the way that it was originally designed. This is one of those 1960s French provincial dressers that has the super, super slick um, laminate top. So the way that I prepped that is I did one coat of slick stick and I sprayed it, um, let it dry for an hour, went back, did a second coat of slick stick, let it dry overnight, and then I did a base coat of the sawmill gravy. And just that quickly, we have completely updated that hardware. And now I'm gonna move on to the widget bin. And this is the piece that has the crack. And I want you to see that after we get it painted, that will just disappear. Eat my water bottle again. I'm keeping my brush down. That helps the paint to level out. It also helps it to go further. I've got something on my table there. And one of the reasons that I love these pointy artist brushes is how well it gets down into those grooves of the details. There we go. So who has their tickets for the Bells and Bow Tour yet? If you don't, you still have just a little bit of time. It would be a great Christmas gift for the painter in your life. And in case you haven't heard, at last count, there were nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine instructors for this stop. It's January the 18th at the Georgia International Horse Park in Atlanta. It's actually in Conyers. All of the information is on the Bells and Bow Tour group Facebook page or on the website, bellsandbowtour.com. So go there for all your information. I have been honored to be asked to demonstrate how to do paint pours, and we're going to talk about every kind of finish for your paint pour that you can imagine. So I hope that you're able to join us in Atlanta. Okay, I think we're gonna put some silver gilding wax on this too. We're going for an old Hollywood glamour sort of look on this, trying to really update this piece. I happen to love French provincial furniture. Okay, I've got to lay this down flat. I'm sorry you're not going to be able to see it well. And I think I'm going to switch to my Dixie Belle French round. Okay, so my pug is trying to talk to you over here. She just came in and said hello. Her name is Daisy. 
and she is the sweetest pug. She's sort of the mama of my pack. I have five. We rescue dogs, or they rescue us. So if I haven't introduced myself, I am Sandy with Urban Rebel Designs in Aztec, New Mexico. And that is up in the Four Corners area of New Mexico. We are on the Colorado border. We're also on the Utah border and the Arizona border. If you're ever in the area, I hope you will stop in and say hello. Now I'm about to make a big mess because I'm about to have to pick up wet paint. Because I am going to have to hold it to get to this piece. I see. This is another reason that I love the French rounds, is to get into tight areas. They're amazing. Oh yeah, we're gonna put some gilding wax on this too. I really want these details to come out and when you look at it I want it to make sense to you as to why we chose these and now I'm going to show you the crack completely disappeared so that was not a wasted piece of would you bend Thanks for joining me today um, on Wednesday at 11 o'clock Eastern. I will be back here on the world in the world group. We're going to be taping off stripes and spraying the body of this piece. And then on, I'm trying to think, I've got so many. Um, Saturday on the Top Paint 101 page, we will be placing the Would You Bend and spraying top coat and then next Sunday at this same time I poured the top of the dresser yesterday we're gonna be finishing the top of the dresser and then that project will be done thanks for joining me thanks for following along on this project and we will see you soon